Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Don Nelson and I'm Michelle Edmonds. Homeless veterans could be getting a new home in Idaho with access to health care and other services. Six on your side's Lacey Darrow has the details. As Americans, we should be taking care of them who those people who were really willing to risk their lives to take care of us. According to the Boise and Ada County Housing Authority, they currently give around 200 vouchers to help veterans pay rent. But many times those vouchers are worth less than a landlord can get from an everyday citizen. That becomes an impediment to our veterans trying to find housing. According to the VA, there's typically 25 veterans who have vouchers at any given time that simply can't find housing and are chronically homeless. But that could be changing. The Idaho Housing and Finance Association is currently accepting proposals from developers for permanent supportive housing. The proposal is uh, really to enable a developer to develop housing that is specifically designated for our returning veterans who've fallen into homelessness. The project will be based off the housing first model where you provide the homeless with a roof over their head and then they can focus on getting the services they need to get back on their feet. Although the agency is accepting proposals from anywhere in Idaho, they will be choosing the winner based on a number of factors. The proposals that would score the best would be uh, proposals that placed the housing somewhere in the proximity most likely of the VA or the VA outreach offices. The cost would likely run somewhere near the $5 million mark, the majority of which would be paid for by the Idaho Housing and Finance Association by selling federal tax credits. And while it's not cheap, they say it will likely save money in the long run. They use up a large amount of the public costs for uh, a community, things like emergency room visits and uh, criminal justice. And so by housing uh, those chronically homeless individuals, it's proven that those costs uh, dramatically decrease. Lacey Darrow, six on your side. The Idaho Housing and Finance Association is accepting proposals from developers. The deadline is August 24th. The agency hopes to complete the project sometime in 2020. 